Minneapolis bride to be calls 911 over the weekend to report a possible sexual assault near her home. She is then shot and killed by a police officer who responded. As Justine Ruschek is being remembered at a community vigil, a state investigation is now underway. The mayor says the officers had body cameras, but they were not turned on. Joining us live is CNN Scott McClain with the details. No dash camera video that we know of, no body camera video, nothing showing this yet. Yeah, Poppy, details are few and far between at this point, but here's what we do know. We know that a 911 call came in late Saturday night for a possible sexual assault. Justine Ruschek made that call, according to someone who knew her, a source who knew her, because she believed that a sexual assault was happening in the alley behind her home. At some point, as you mentioned, police fired a shot and Ruschek was killed. They were wearing body cameras, but they were not turned on. There is also no dash camera video from the squad car. The mayor of Minneapolis, uh, Betsy Hodges, says she is deeply disturbed by this incident. She's calling on investigators to release as much information as possible. Listen. Like you, I also have a lot of questions. I have a lot of questions about why the body cameras weren't on, questions that I hope and anticipate will be answered in the next few days. I know what a tight-knit community is a night tight-knit neighborhood where people know each other and know each other well now Ruschek was uh, engaged set to be married in august she was an american citizen from australia who had been living in the country for about three years with uh, her fiance